When an Omaha teacher found herself in the hospital waiting for transplant, battling chronic kidney disease, she did not give up. Instead, she saw it as a teaching moment. Lindsay Thies takes us to Nebraska Medicine today with her story. Hey guys, here today at Nebraska Medicine with a very special friend of mine. Tell me your name again, dear. Giovanna. And what grade are you guys in? Second. Second grade. And tell me a little bit, what's what's your teacher's name? Miss Douglas. Miss Douglas. And Miss Douglas is a very special lady. We're going to tell you about her story in just a second. Miss Douglas has taken the kids today to Nebraska Medicine and you're just finishing up. What's been your favorite part about seeing the hospital today? Seeing the patients that that have the head transplants and stuff. Yeah, the patients that had transplants and stuff. Well, this is very important because Ms. Douglas had a transplant herself. Take a look. There's a lot of things that we talk about when we get back to the our room, okay? For second grade teacher Leslie Douglas, a trip to the hospital was fatiguing. In 2013, she got a kidney and pancreas transplant. She says during that time, she never stopped thinking about her students. They just always, you know, ask me, you know, Miss Douglas, how are you doing today? And, you know, sometimes, you know, they write me cards and things like that. Just very, very supportive. For patient Jasmine Giles, a trip to the hospital is trying. I don't like talking about this. I'm sorry. Do you miss school? She says most of all, she misses school. All those organs in our bodies, they all work together. Tuesday, those two worlds combine. To keep us healthy. Two years after her transplant, Douglas is using her experience. We're going to go down to the clinic, which is where your teacher spent a lot of her time, Miss Leslie did, when she was getting ready for her transplant, okay? Not just to teach, but to make a difference. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you get to go home soon. I am glad we could come visit you. She took more than 50 seven and eight year olds on a field trip to Nebraska Medicine, talking to doctors and dropping off cards. Thank you. Hi. You're welcome. They went to patients like Jasmine. What do you say? Some of the youngest who have undergone transplant. They're so cute. <laughs> Making the trip to the hospital less trying, less fatiguing, and for once, uplifting. Thank you. I'm back out here at the med center with my buddy Tristan. So Tristan, you got to talk to one of the transplant surgeons. You got to see some patients and, and give some cards. What was your favorite part about today? My favorite part was was coming to the transplant center. The best part was that I got to see the whole place of the transplant center. Yeah, and it's a pretty big place, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, guys, for more on this story, including some very cute pictures of the cards and the students, look for this online. That's at KMTV.com. For now, at the Med Center, I'm Lindsay Thies for Upfront at 4. And I'm sure they were spreading a lot of joy and a lot of smiles today. Ms. Douglas and her students say they hope more people will learn about organ donation. Jim, it's raining outside.